Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported my project files, required for this project. You can download all of them from the given link in the description. You can also download the template for free, from my web store. Link is also provided in the description. Now let's see how to create, our black and white slideshow, create a new composition. Name it as slide 1. For this slide, I will set the time duration to 5 seconds. You can increase or decrease the time duration depending on how long you want the slide to view. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. For background layer, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the solid background layer. For fill, you can set background color of your choice. Now let's add the image file to the timeline, here you can also use video file, scale your media file if needed, here I will scale my media file to fit the composition. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as media1. Select move all attributes into the new composition. Perfect. Now let's add the ink media file to the timeline, For this ink media file, in effects and preset, search for fastbox blur. Add it to the ink media file. Set blur radius to 5, iteration to 1. Select repeat edge pixels. For media composition, change track mat to, luma inverted mat ink. You can see the preview. Here you can scale this sync media file, and also adjust its position. Perfect. Now to change this ink animation to black and white, you need to create a new adjustment layer. For this layer, in effects and preset, search for vibrance, Add it to the adjustment layer. Set vibrance to 50 for saturation, set it to minus 100. This will change all files below adjustment layer to black and white. Here you can also add the tint effect. Now from the project panel, let's add the texture image to the timeline. For this texture image, change mode to screen. For texture, Press R to bring up the rotation, while pressing ALT key, click on stopwatch of rotation, now enter an expression, wiggle, 2, 360. Now press P to bring up position, while pressing ALT key, click on stopwatch of position, now enter an expression, wiggle, 2, 30. Perfect. Now let's add particles media file to the timeline. Perfect. 
Now let's change media file, ink, texture and particles to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Place it above. Press P to bring up position, at end of the timeline. Create keyframe for position, at start of the timeline, change position for Z axis as shown. You can see the preview. For particles media file, on the motion blur, Now add the ink transition to the timeline. For transition, change mode to Silhouette Luma. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. If you want you can also add the text, here I will just add the basic text, I will create a separate tutorial for the text animation, which you can use in this slideshow effect. For the text layer, I will create a keyframe for opacity, You can adjust the text position. Here you can change the text color or you can add fill effect. To animate text with camera, you need to change the text layer to 3D. You can see the preview. Here you can set font style according to your choice. If you don't want any text layer, you can just hide the text layer, or you can delete it. Now let's see how to create multiple slides, but first let's create two duplicates of this media one composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now open these media compositions. To replace the media file, while pressing Alt key, select the media file and drag and drop over other media file. You can see the media file is replaced, you can scale it to fit the composition. We will do the same for media 2 composition. Perfect. Now we will create two duplicates of this slide composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now open the slide 2 and 3 composition. For slide 3, I will hide this text layer. Now let's replace this media 1 file with media 3. While pressing Alt key, select media file and drag and drop over media file. Now let's replace the Sync Transition 1 with Ink Transition 3. While pressing Alt key, select Transition and drag and drop over Transition Media File. Perfect. We will do the same for Slide 2. Hide the text layer. Replace Media 1 with Media 2. Replace Ink Transition 1 with Transition 2. Perfect. Here we have created three slides, now let's see how to bring them together in a single composition. Create a new composition, name it as Slideshow. Here I will set time duration to 12 seconds. You can set it according to the number of slides you have created. Let's add created slides to the composition. Place them as shown.
Here I will increase the time duration of this composition. I will set it to 13 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for exposure, add it to the adjustment layer, for exposure. While pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of exposure, now enter an expression. Wiggle. 5, 0.3. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Adjust the curves as shown. Perfect, in effects and preset, now search for, unsharp mask, add it to adjustment layer. For unsharp mask, change amount to, 80. Change radius to, 2. In effects and preset. Now search for, noise, add it to the adjustment layer. Set the amount of noise to, 5%. Perfect. From project panel, add the light image file to timeline. In effects and preset, search for exposure. Add it to the light layer, for exposure. While pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of exposure, now enter an expression. Wiggle. 5, 1. Perfect. For light layer, in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the light layer. Now search for, scatter. Add it to the light layer. Change scatter amount to 100. Select randomize every frame. For the light layer, set opacity to 50%. For this light layer, let's change mode to, add. Now add frame, create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Here you can set color for solid layer, or you can also add fill effect. Double click on this rectangle tool to create mask, for mask 1, change shape, change unit to percent of source. Change top to 10%, change bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Similarly you can add multiple slides and create your slideshow. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.